One of the best things about a Disney cruise is that many of the itineraries include a stop at Disney's private island, Castaway Key. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Castaway Key Jet Ski Adventure, also known as the Watercraft Ski Adventure. This hour-long activity will take you around the entire island at speeds up to 60 miles per hour. It's so fun. And I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel because we have more reviews coming about things like snorkeling on Castaway Key, the Castaway Key 5K, the Stingray Adventure at Castaway Key, and also more on the ship like eating at Animator's Palette. But for now, we're going to be talking all about the jet skis, so get ready, hold on tight, because here we go. When you arrive at Castaway Key, you'll be able to see the jet ski area at the boat beach. It's pretty close to the ship. Before you even get on the ship, you can actually reserve your spot in this adventure by reserving it online. If you didn't reserve it online, you can check out the port adventure desk inside the ship to see if you can reserve it. When we were there, this activity was available pretty much every hour on the hour. We initially scheduled for later in the day, but because that one didn't sell out, they moved us up one hour. And they let us know that the first day we got on the ship so we could plan accordingly. When you arrive, they'll have you sign some paperwork related to liability and also safety. The adventure in total takes about an hour. First, you'll hear some safety instructions as you get your life vest. You'll then have a brief introduction to how to use the jet ski. I was actually planning this would take a little longer, but it's pretty straightforward and they just tell you right then and there. Two tour guides take you on this adventure. You will travel single file with one guide in the front and another guide in the very back. If the person in front of you is going too slow, you can go around them. You just have to keep a good distance between you as you do. As you can see, our tour guide just took off. So everybody, single file, let's get ready and go. One of the most common questions I get about the jet ski adventure is people wondering if they'll be able to do it if they've never been on a jet ski before or if their arms will be strong enough. I have never ridden on a jet ski before and I was able to do it. Yes, I drove a little bit slower than a lot of them, but I was able to do it just fine. There was a variety of people, both older and younger, who were able to control the jet ski just fine. You will have your arms get a little tired after the full hour, but if you're riding with someone else, you can switch drivers once you get to the sandbar. Because this was my first time ever driving a jet ski, I like to go a little bit slower, so some of the people did pass me. One of the awesome things about this is you get to go around the entire island. So while very few people in the big scheme of things ever make it to Castaway Key, even fewer get to make it all the way around Castaway Key. You get to see the whole island from a different perspective and see some areas that other people will never get to see. It was beautiful and awesome. Also, when we were there, they weren't selling single jet ski adventures. Everyone had to be double on the jet ski, unless you pay the price for one double adventure for only one person. I'm not sure if it's always like that, but the week we were there, that's what was happening. The only problem with this was Luke was a little bit more confident driving, so he wanted to go a little bit faster. I think I wanted to take it a little bit slower than he probably wanted to. so cool to see the different areas with the different colors of water, the different depths of the water, and every so often seeing some sea life. But 
about three-fourths of the way through, we stopped at a sandbar. And we got out for about 10 minutes and got to walk around, see some of the sea life, and also just relax out there. The one thing I wish I would have done is I had a waterproof case for my cell phone, and I wish I would have brought my cell phone so I could have taken some more pictures out here, but thankfully I have my GoPro, which wasn't quite as nice for still photos, but you still get the idea. As you can see, Luke was a little bit more wild driving back. Overall, this port adventure was a blast, and I'd highly recommend it to anyone who wants to see the island from a new point of view, or do something a little bit more adventurous. Hope you enjoyed the video. In the comments below, I'd love to hear which adventure you like to do most at Castaway Key, or what you would like to do at Castaway Key. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, and we'll be sure and see y'all again real soon.